We're starting today, everybody's talking about this, all the newspapers, all the news channels. Um, this is the massive search and rescue effort which is now underway in the North Atlantic. After a submersible which was exploring the wreck of the Titanic went missing on Sunday. The vessel has five people on board and it lost contact an hour and 45 minutes into the dive. It's been reported that, resource, that rescuers have only until Thursday before their oxygen supply runs out on the submersible. I can hear people gasping and it, it is such a shocking, mm. awful, horrific situation. Um, <sighs> hard to know what to say. I mean, it, it's almost like the most terrible film, isn't it? Mm. And you go, this can't be real. This can't be real. But sadly, um, Janet, it, it is real. And, you know, there will be families now, five people on board. There will be families waiting for news. Lots of the experts who I've heard being interviewed this morning saying it's a, it'll be an extremely difficult rescue operation mm. because it's so deep and this submersive was built from titanium specifically to go to this depth where the Titanic wreckage is. Um, so it's not looking or sounding good, but no, we live in hope. Not. I don't want to appear heartless, but I do think that the people who are on board will have understood the risks because uh, this kind of trip is um, a new kind of tourism, which we've seen in uh, space trips and now underwater trips and, you know, people scaling uh, most highest mountains in the world. Only the richest people in the world can afford this kind of tourism. I mean, I think it's about... It's £195,000 a person. Of course, that doesn't diminish the pain and anguish that their families are going through, but I fully believe that the people that decided to go on these trips will have, you know, their families would have been aware of the risks involved. And then at the end of the day, think about the Titanic. 1,500 people died on that boat, and it is a graveyard. So once again, I question the morality of spending all that money to go and look at a graveyard. Um, but, you know, everybody's some, obsessed things, with the Titanic yeah, there and they've never stopped There is fascination, Frankie, isn't there? Yeah, there is. That, you know, my, my kids are about two years apart at school and they've learnt about the Titanic one after the other. And they have... You know, it's hard to get anything out of your kids at school. What did you do today? I don't know, I can't remember. Mm. But with the Titanic, for some reason, they've both come home at different ages telling me all about it, asking me loads of questions, like, genuinely interested in it, um, wanting me to build things like the Titanic. So, like, it's, it's weird how people do end up with this big obsession around it and mm. I don't really know what it is. Well, I know that the Titanic experience in Belfast is hugely popular. I mean, it is the, the, the story of the Titanic was built in... Belfast, but Colleen, just the most horrific situation, just thinking of five people in this tiny, mm. tiny submersible. I mean, they're saying the they're panic, estimating they're air, they, their air supply, they've only got until Thursday, the experts are saying. Absolutely, so you can't even imagine, A, what they're thinking down there, do you know what I mean? And knowing that they, they must know the risks and that they're going to run out of air. And I think it's just hard to... Comprehend and the fact that it has it was them visiting the or trying to see the Titanic and now that's gone down as well. It's something if you saw it in a movie, you'd go, well, that's a bit unbelievable. Mm -hmm. And yet here it is. And I don't care how much money you've got or whatever, you know, it, we all take risks. We take risks getting on a plane. We all know what the risks exactly. are, but it doesn't stop us getting on a plane and it's still no, tragic when something happens. Yes. Well, let's, let's hope that the Titanic doesn't claim... <sighs> Five more lives. Well, let's uh, hope obviously, that people don't put their lives in danger trying to rescue them well, too, because they're people doing a job that they're paid, yeah, a, you know, a yeah. lot less money for doing. I mean, obviously, as I said at the beginning, you know, it's five people, five families. Obviously, mm. will be extremely worried and, and desperate to have the news. <laughs> obviously, if we hear anything during the program, any update, we will let them know. But obviously, our thoughts are with those people's families today.